what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here um got a few announcements i want to make um so hopefully you guys watch this intro because i don't want to hear it later <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't, don't want to hear it later but anyways um slam dunk is it's coming it, you know what i'm saying like we're 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 halfway through the anime episodes um and I'm looking forward to what they're going to do now. Now that we've lost Akagi, I'm looking forward through that. But beyond that, I am planning to drop a ton of episodes um, for Slam Dunk um, on early access and put them at least five or six episodes ahead of, um, you know, on the regular channel. Um, I am planning to do that also i'm testing a new platform for my uploads um this coming this upcoming upload for this one or maybe the next one i'll test it out see how things go if you see it's a new link and it's not the google drive then you know then i'm testing things out to see how things go i am also going to try to dedicate some time to edit my videos down for youtube i've always wanted to do this i the, the thing about it is this like i don't have the time to do it so i've just put it to the side entirely and just upload full reactions only um because i don't have the time for it i'm trying to set a set time aside where you guys don't have to leave the platform to go and watch it somewhere else um it's just going through all the rigmarole of dealing with youtube and recognizing these things it just creates that kind of issue for me because i don't have time to sit down or to edit re-edit and all this other stuff um it's one of the reasons that affords me the the luxury of not of reacting to so many shows at once because if i dedicate the time to re-edit and upload and getting blocked and all of this other stuff i wouldn't be able to react to as many shows as i do now you know continuously i just wouldn't be able to i would have to do like two shows maybe <laughs> you know what i'm saying and you know I i'm trying to to hold the balance between tv shows and anime on the channel and other things that i'm bringing to the channel later um so i'm definitely looking forward to doing more with the channel of course so look out for that it might be on this video it might not be but i'm also planning to drop a lot of episodes on early access so look out for that as well if you have not signed up for early access please consider doing so it helps support the channel okay so we're gonna jump in we're gonna see what shohoku can do without akagi i think they're gonna do just fine but it's going to be a struggle right so let's see how it goes and i will see you guys for the review all right rukawa on fire is a force to be reckoned with and it's I'm glad that he that he got to showcase it because it's not oblivious to us that the dude is talented. You know what I'm saying? Like we've known that he may be, you know, the second best player on the team. As in, oh, I would say he's the second best shooter on the team behind um, Mitsui. And the reason why I'm saying I, I'm I'm saying that he's more, he has more. Um. He's more of a threat. He has more, I want to say, I don't want to say genius skills, but you know what I'm saying? He's just a more skilled player than Mitsui. Mitsui is hands down the best shooter on the team. You know what I'm saying? It's just that he's being guarded so well in this game, he can't really get his shot off. So Rukawa has taken on that role. But the thing about um, Rukawa is that He's a triple threat, you know what I'm saying? He's a threat from everywhere on the field, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
he's a threat from three-point range he's a threat from mid-range he's a threat under the basket he's a threat driving to the basket he has all the fundamentals down for him to be just unstoppable and that's why i was like yeah he's going to surprise you because um i think it was in the last game we saw mitsui get hot you know what i'm saying um and in this game it's rukawa that's like oh you know what i'm saying we're 11 points down 11 points 11 points and sometimes that's what it takes that's sometimes that's what it takes to be um and you can look at it and say it's selfish and as i stated you know during the episode when i was talking i was like if you look at the players in the history of the nba and some of the greatest players that we always talk about when you're talking about michael jordan you're talking about kobe bryant you talk about larry bird all of these players were somewhat selfish in some ways they were a bit of a ball hog you know what i'm saying um so and they were cocky with it too so i can imagine when you're talking about egocentric selfish those are good they can be traits in good ways you know outside of sports you know being those things can is just considered you know in a bad way you know what i mean but when it comes on to to sports it can consider a good thing because sometimes that player is just that good and you have to feed the hot hand and and the thing about rukawa is like you obviously see that he has the hot hand so why not why not give him the ball you know um so he, he definitely did some ridiculous things was animated great also because i did not expect them to do um you know it was a, a double clutch dunk under under the block avoid the block and then still dunk the ball that's amazing i thought he was going to lay it up but he dunked it that was nutty so i really enjoyed that rukawa really turned up in that episode um now that akagi is back we're gonna get to see you know what akagi is going to bring back to the table i'm a little bit worried about him because i don't want him to permanently injure himself um but hey he he helped shoku to take the lead i think this is going to be a neck and neck game down to the wire and uh, and um you know I, I that's just what i believe i think it's going to come down to the wire and maybe somebody's going to hit a buzzer beater that's what i think is going to happen but i still i'm waiting for them to give my boy sakuragi some chance to shine with an offensive play you get what i'm saying with his offensive play not his defensive play we know he's a great defender he's he's um he's using and learning he's learning and using i should say his ability on defense is right now unmatched on the court there's no better defender on the court right now than sakuragi he's the best defender on the court right now hands down but i still need him to make a great offensive play i need to see him dunk i want him to dunk on the number one player in the league maki i want him to dunk on him because then it will be over it would be over the crowd would lose its freaking mind even more than they're losing their mind for rukawa right now so i'm looking forward to it hopefully something happens i don't know if something is going to happen or they're just going to keep him shining on the defensive hand and he's just going to have to be proud of that but i still need to see him do something like oh my god it's spectacular even though he's playing excellent basketball right now i need an offensive outburst from our boy sakuragi okay um sendo them as arrived at the match they didn't expect it to be such a close game because they thought kainan was going to watch shoku but that is not the case i'm looking forward to the next episodes just know that these episodes will not the next two episodes are going to be on early access they're not going to be on youtube so if you want to watch them early and you don't want to wait until next week hey it's only two dollars <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
it's only two dollars a month man sign up for early access so you can watch those episodes thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man it's your boy terabyte reacts and i will catch you guys later man peace